Believe it or not, one of the audio channels that I subscribe to here on YouTube is Paul McGowan. I call it Paul McGowan BS Audio. And uh, the reason I sometimes watch his videos, I don't watch all of them, but uh, I try to stay on top of what the uh, what the audio files, the true audio files are saying about things. So when I see a topic or a video that I'm interested in, I'll watch it and, you know, see what he has to say. And, and basically what he does there is he answers questions that people send to him. In one of his recent videos, he answered the question asking which is the most important cable in a hi-fi system. And uh, I thought I would make a video talking about that. And the thing I want to show you is this thing right here. I just finished making this. When I say that, I, I mean, I just finished making it about two weeks ago. I haven't shown it yet. It is the preamp board for my control box that I talked about in a recent video. It has, uh, you know, four pots on here, plus a switch. The switch turns off the tone control, which is treble and bass. Also got a volume control and a balance control up here. And as you can see, it's fairly compact, but it is complete preamp. Uh, I can flip it over, show you it's a double-sided board. And I've got a little bit of a red spaghetti happening here where I wired this pot or rewired the pot that I had backwards. When you turn it up, it would decrease the treble. When you turn it down, it would increase the treble, which is not good. So these wires fix that. And I could have made a new board and I may at some point in the future, but um, it took a while to do this to begin with. So I thought I would go with this and see if I can ignore it. And I probably can. I can. Because it's on the bottom, you can't see it. Out of sight, I don't mind, right? So anyway, why I'm showing this is the cables question is very similar to asking which one of these components is the most important. Are the resistors the most important? And which one of those is the most important? Is it the pots? Are they the most important? And which one of those is the most important? Or could it be the capacitors? Are they the most important? Or the op amps? Surely the op amps must be the most important. And which one of those is the most important? Well, the answer is that they're all important. And you can't say that they're all equally important, but if you take one away, and believe me, I know, this whole thing stops working. And it's not the kind of stops working where, you know, details are lost or the soundstage collapses or it's a little bit muddy in the high end. It just stops working altogether, as in it ceases to function. And that's the importance of the parts that are in here. They all work together in a system. And you might say, yeah, I get it, John. It stops working. But what about the quality of the parts that you're using there? Are they truly up to audiophile standards? And the truth of the matter is that all of the parts that I'm using here can be found in other audiophile or in real audiophile products. They are the same thing you'll find in those. Very much like the stuff that you find in this cable is the same as the stuff you'll find in a true audiophile cable. This one's from Amazon. It says Amazon Basics on here. Cost sixteen dollars <laughs> for this one meter length, and it's every bit as good and made from exactly the same stuff as the ones that cost a hundred times as much or a thousand times as much even. Now, with that said, I can understand why people have questions about this stuff, and it has to do with how much bad information has sunk into the audio topic or pastime or hobby. And a lot of that is being perpetrated by the manufacturers. But the important thing that I want to point out here is that they are doing that in response to what the customers want. As in your $1,000 or $10,000 cable would not exist if the customer wasn't there to buy it. To say it again in a slightly different way, the reason why products exist that make outrageous claims without any actual proof to back them up. It's because people want to be lied to. 
as long as the lie that they're getting is the one that they want to hear. And so when the cable manufacturer tells you that these cables right here, these low cost but perfectly functional cables that will absolutely get the job done 100% are mid fi at best and that the only way you're going to get the most out of your system is to buy his brand, he's telling you a bald faced lie. But once again, like I said before, it's the lie that you want to hear. We may ask what is relevant, but anything beyond that is dangerous. He's a liar. The demon is a liar. He will like to confuse us. But he will also mix lies with the truth. So don't listen. Remember that. Do not listen. 